she has to be up there every day. Like literally, she thinks she's queen. Right? Are you queen? Mm -hmm. And she's possibly pregnant. We'll be finding out on Valentine's Day. So today is Saturday and I just cracked my knee right on my kitchen table. It's been a day, you guys. It has been a day. It has started out with just stress. It was just a automatic stress Saturday. I have a list in front of me that's eight check marks long. Um, I haven't started on it yet because I'm sitting here trying to eat some breakfast at 12.55 in the afternoon because I haven't had breakfast yet. I got up, grabbed a cup of coffee, downed it, did my makeup because we had delivery guys coming to our house today. I didn't hardly get any sleep last night. I literally was up half the night. It was freezing in my bedroom last night. It was probably 40 degrees in my room, maybe 35. And the reason why is because this is our first winter in this apartment. So we're not, we're not used to it yet. We're not like, we're just now learning the like ins and outs, the flaws. And one of the flaws here that we realized this winter is the windows are not sealed good enough. And they literally, if you're standing and like you're watching, like I'm looking at the blinds right now, the blinds will sway back and forth very slowly because the air is blowing through the cracks in the windows. Um, and it's been 15 degrees outside. It's been a very, very cold January. But fortunately, this week it's going back up into 30s and 40s. So everybody's really excited about that. But this, in the meantime, when we do have this happen, now we know. So my husband said next winter, we are going to be plasticking our windows and we're going to put plastic on all the windows so it holds in more heat and as well as he wants to get a um i can't remember what it's called a weather seal or something for our doors because there's about a crack about that big in the doors and especially our back door it constantly blows cold air in through our house and our furnace is back there so it kicks the furnace on like every 15, 20 minutes, which is raising our bills. This apartment is tricky in the wintertime and they did not think this through very well. They did not think things through when they were building this place. Um, and they don't really take good care of them. They don't really watch these apartments. They're kind of just falling apart. And at our old place that we lived at, we had maintenance men that would come into our apartments about every three to four months and they would come in and they would check everything light switches things like that the windows they don't do that here the only thing they did not do at our old house was our furnace broke every single winter every winter the damn thing broke and i ended up buying oh you can't see it i ended up buying a electric fireplace just in order to have heat in the living room because I knew it was gonna happen. And every time this year, I guarantee you it's already broke for the new people. It probably already broke already. They're probably totally struggling right now at our old apartment. They're probably pissed off. They're probably like, wow, this place is a dump. Um, I knew the ins and outs of that apartment. I lived there for six years. So I knew like what was gonna happen each winter. Anyways, this is our first winter here and boy, are we struggling. We are just like not having it this winter. It's been kind of a pain in the ass, but um, it's been a doozy. Anyways, I am literally sitting here eating boiled eggs. I bought, um, I made boiled eggs for me and my kids today. It is a hurried day. I am in a big hurry. I'm trying to get stuff done. I already ate most of my egg. <laughs> This, this ain't gonna be cool, you guys. It's kind of just like a chit chat right now. I'm just eating a boiled egg and chit chatting with you guys. Um, I got a couple subscribers on here that have been really cool with me. They've actually been really funny, really hilarious. Um, and I, I really appreciate it. It really lifts up my mood. Last night, I cannot remember the guy's name. I don't remember what his, it might be a girl, but I can't remember green show something i i don't remember but um he's so funny he's hilarious and he's always leaving me like really funny little um comments and stuff like that on my videos so thanks guys for the ones that are doing that you guys really lift me up and um help me to continue to make videos you know 
least somebody's watching me. You know, some, somebody out there enjoys these videos. Today was the first day that I actually did a full face makeup. I have not done a full face. I'm talking full face, like moisturizer, all this stuff in... been a couple of weeks actually probably longer than that I just haven't really been down to do my makeup um today I said yes because there was people coming to my house and I looked like crap anyways we are up to almost 125 subscribers on this channel I know that ain't jack crap to compare to all the other people out there that are millions and billions of subscribers but you know what these little group of people that I have on this channel you guys are really cool and I am I, I, I dig it. I totally dig you guys. I wish we could all just kind of hang out. It'd be really cool and just eat boiled eggs together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, I keep checking because my stupid mascara, I have creases right here under my eyes. It gets stuck. It doesn't matter what I do. I put powder and it'll like, and it just gets right here by the end of the day. And it looks like major dark circles on my eyes and I don't, it's all mascara. Here we go, eating my little boiled egg. I tried um, having a pickle with us. My husband put the cap in the pickle jar too tight. Now I can't get it off. Mm -mm. You're not supposed to be in the videos, okay? One. They don't understand this at all because I don't let them in the videos anymore. I got some mean people out there and I just don't want them. He's not feeling well today. He woke up, he had, um, it started yesterday. He had like really nasty cough and now he's all congested. And I don't think he slept well last night because he has really bad dark circles under his eyes. What's wrong, baby? I'm about ready to start knocking stuff out and then you can go up there and lay down, okay? On your bed? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I hope everybody will... I hear someone open that door. I'll wake up. You want to take a nap? Yeah, in your room. Okay. Well, I'm just finishing up my breakfast and stuff. Did you eat your breakfast? Did you eat all your eggs? No, just only one. You only had one? Did you, you like it? You well, hey, you don't have a shirt on and people are weird? I didn't eat another one. Well, I ate three. <clears throat> you didn't eat three. You only had one. You want another one? No, I just want to go to sleep. Go upstairs. Well, can I bring my blankets in your room? No. Why? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Oh, I need a pillow. Oh. I'm gonna have to do my list backwards today. No, no. I have to start at eight and go up to one. I go in sleeping in mom's room. He doesn't feel good. He, um, he's my stubborn one. He's five, and he refuses to dress appropriately when we go out places. And I guess they've been having a hard time at school with him too. He's been, um. He doesn't wear his hat. They, I bought him a hat from Target and gloves. It was a hat and glove set from Target. I don't know why I said that twice, but hey, what's up? And um, he won't wear it. He literally just keeps it in his backpack and then he loses them. So he got sick because of that. And also he, um, he's a boy. Boys are disgusting. They, they literally are, so. I really wish I had some soy sauce for this. This would be really bad on soy sauce. I just ate an eggshell. February 1st. It's on like Donkey Kong for my hair. Alright, you guys. I just wanted to make a... This is an extremely short video, but maybe later on, hopefully, I'll be able to get on and do a mukbang. 
I think we're supposed to have pizza tonight, so I might do a pizza mukbang with you guys. Just wanted to give a little shout out to a couple of people. And then there was another girl that's on here. She did ask what part of Michigan I live in. Um, I don't feel comfortable giving out my information to people online. And I know it was probably just an innocent question. You were probably just wondering, but I, I don't feel comfortable. I do appreciate you guys commenting and telling me your guys' stories and things like that. I love talking about that stuff, but I won't give out any private information about where I live or even like where I reside in the state of Michigan. Michigan's pretty easy to figure out. Like you can just pretty much, you can figure out where anybody lives around here. So, um, let's not go there. We're not going to do that. But, um, if you are a fellow Michigander, if you've lived here or you do live here, what's up? And, uh, how you feeling with the weather right now? Because I am digging it. I am a spring and summer girl. 100%. The other thing I wanted to say is somebody said something. I forgot to mention this in my one video that I made about me doing my nighttime routine. I am a full-time stay-at-home mom and I don't have support. I have no babysitters at all. None, zero whatsoever. These two have no family at all. They literally, they do not come around. Their grandparents don't come around. Their aunts, their uncles, their cousins, nobody comes around. Um, me and my husband have been taking care of these two full-time for the past going on 10 years. And, um, so they're always in my videos and I know there's a couple of people that think like I'm ignoring them or whatever when they're talking, but both my sons have chronic ADHD and my youngest right now is starting to develop signs of it and he will interrupt and talk all the time. He does it all day long. My oldest is getting better at it. He doesn't do that anymore. He used to back when he was five, but he doesn't do it anymore. Now he just... He doesn't really do anything anymore. He's actually, he's, he's grown out of a lot of things, but my five-year-old is just beginning. So he's kind of starting where his brother did, but I don't ignore my children. I don't sit there and ignore them. When I log off or whatever, I'm right back to being a stay-at-home mom again. Um, and even before I make my videos, they are well properly taken care of. But like I said, he talks a lot. He's only five. So he's just all over. The, he's coming back again. Peace out, you guys. I will see y'all later, hopefully with pizza.